Good morning, Calvary. Happy Friday. This is Pastor Chad with your word for the day. Hey, we're still in Colossians, and now we're in Colossians chapter 3. And, and I want to ask you this question. Have, have you ever noticed that if you do something half-heartedly or halfway, that it, it never turns out good? That it, it just doesn't work for you if you just kind of halfway try? Uh, I have. Uh, for instance, dieting. Dieting never works if you say, yeah, I'm going to kind of diet. I'm going to kind of eat healthy. Because if I'm going to kind of eat healthy, I completely and totally eat unhealthy. Or working out. Have you ever, you ever said, I'm going to work out, sort of? I used to do that. I used to go to the gym, uh, and, uh, and I was like, you know, going to work out. I had great intentions. But then I'd get there, and I'd see people, and I'd start talking to people. And next thing you know, uh, time's up, and i got to go, and I didn't break a sweat. It wasn't actually until I fully committed to working out that I, you know, enlisted a trainer and said, okay, I've got to have accountability and I'm going to show up three times a week that it, it made a difference in my life. It's never until I get serious about the diet and give up the stuff that I really love to eat, like ice cream, that I ever actually lose weight. And, and same is true in your spiritual life. It, you know, if you're going to follow Jesus, then it's really only going to bless you if you go all in. If you get serious about it and you say, I'm going to make this commitment, I'm going to live this commitment, and I'm going to try every single day. Otherwise, it's going to result in kind of half-hearted frustration. The Apostle Paul tries to get that uh, message across to us, uh, writing to the church in Colossae, about taking our spiritual health Seriously, listen to him in Colossians 3, uh, beginning at verse 5. He says, Put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you, sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which, by the way, is idolatry. On account of these, the wrath of God is coming. In these you too once walked when you were living in them, but now you must put them all away, anger, wrath, malice, slander, and obscene talk from your mouth. Okay, you know what Paul's saying? He's saying we need to put to death temptations, behaviors, habits that are anti-Christ. Now, I don't know about you, but putting stuff to death is taking it really, really seriously. If you're going to put something to death, it's not a half-hearted commitment. It is an all-in, I'm going to go all the way that I need to to make this happen. Uh, it's a battle for your mind. It's a battle for your heart. It's a battle for your soul and your body. You know, he did mention you know, sexual immorality and impurity in that. See, it's a battle for you as a person. And, and if you're a follower of Jesus, then you're in that battle, whether you realize it or not. You're in that battle, whether you acknowledge it or not, because the enemy is trying to get you to be a half-hearted follower of Jesus. Because he knows if he does that, you're not going to be an effective follower of Jesus. You're not going to be a fruitful follower of Jesus. You're not going to live in the joy that God wants you to live in. Jesus even talked about this, because he said it's better to enter into heaven with... Uh, without an eye or without a hand than it is to perish fully uh, capable as a, in the body and, and go to hell. He said, if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. That's taking it seriously. Now, Jesus wasn't being literal about that. He doesn't really want you to maim yourself, uh, but he does want us to take it seriously that when we follow him, he wants 100% commitment. Because you're not going to win the battle for your heart, for your soul, for your mind, for your body, unless you commit 100% to Jesus. So, um, so take it seriously. Take your spiritual health seriously and prepare for the battle. Uh, but that's another devotion. So on that note, let's get healthy in Christ. Let's take this commitment seriously. Let's go all in for Jesus. And I pray that you... Have a blessed day today.